A lot of you are using normal filtering in Excel, but I'm sure very few are using this advanced filter button. This can save you tons of time. I'm going to show you how. And at the end, I have a surprise for you. We're going to do complex filtering and remove duplicates at the same time. So let's go. Let's start with something simple. So I want to filter Gabriel. I'm just going to take the header and Gabriel. And for the header, it's not case sensitive. So if you have it like this, doesn't matter. We click on advanced under data. It will tell me what is my list range. So if it's wrong, you can just select it yourself. In my case, it's okay. Then you have the criteria range. So let's click on the arrow, select name and Gabriel. You have to select the header. You can also copy the result to another location. I'm not going to do this. I'm just going to press OK and you filter Gabriel. Let's add the candies. Super simple. You can just copy paste the candies. We go back here. We change the criteria range to this one. Press enter and you get Gabriel and candies. The advantage of this approach is that you can change this to Marta, for example. And if you just press on advanced, press OK, you get Marta and candies. If you don't like candies, you can use the smaller than bigger than signs. And let's just do a refresh. So you do it like this. You see you have Marta and nuts, raw potato, etc. Let's do something more fun and more complicated. So here I want to play with those codes. I want everything that starts with a P and then have a 6. I don't know how many characters I have between P and 6. And I don't know how many characters I have after 6. To do this, let's just go back to Gabriel because we love Gabriel. And let's move this to the right. I will take the code, paste it here. And what we're going to do is P star 6. This is the magic. Star means any number of random characters between P and 6. So if I just go back, advanced, select my criteria range. This is my criteria range and press OK. You get those instances. So P, any number of characters. It could be 0, it could be many, then a 6. Here also. Here you have P, any number of characters, a 6, and anything afterwards. So that's equivalent to having a star afterwards. It is the same result. Now, if you want to have exactly three characters between P and 6, what you could do is the following. You will use question marks. A question mark is equivalent to one random character only. Not zero, not many one. So here I need three. So I'm just going to do this. We're just going to click on advanced, press OK, and you get those two. If you want, for example, to have something like this, a star, and then you want only one character after the six. Let's see what happens. We click, press OK. You are only left with this one because I want exactly one character after the six. If you want anything that has a five, you can do it like this, for example. There you go. You have everything having a five inside. Now you will tell me, what if I have many criteria? Super simple. So we're just going to move the code away and bring back the item. Here, for example, I want Gabriel and Candice. Or I want Marta and Nuts. So here, let me just go to home, fix the format quickly. There you go. So I want Gabriel and Candice, Marta or Nuts. No problem. You have it like this. Let's go back to our data, advanced, and here we're just going to change this to those two. Press OK, you get the result. If you had the normal filtering on, you would have to do this manually. So filter Gabriel, filter Candies, take the result, put it in another sheet, and then filter Marta and Nuts, take this result and add it there. Here, it's automatic, super simple. Let's go now to prices. So I want a price bigger than 30. What do I do in this case? I can take the price, put it here, and have bigger than 30, bigger than 30. Perfect. Now we we'll just go to advanced, criteria range, select everything. This is the same trick. You press OK and you get everything bigger than 30. What if I want it bigger than 30 and smaller than 50? No problem. You can repeat the header. So we have another price here smaller than 50, smaller than 50. And now you have the same technique. We change the criteria range and we press OK. Everything is between 30 and 50. Let's go to the dates now. The dates are numbers in Excel. So if I just go to home and convert this to a number, 
you have the number here. Let me just add here some columns. And what I want to do is take the date, put it here. I need this number, control C escape. Let's go bigger than this number, bigger than this number. So that has to disappear because I want bigger. We just go back, data advanced, select the range. That's my range. Press OK. And there you go. You only have the dates that are bigger than this one. Let's assume that you want to remove duplicates. What do you do? Let's clear all filters now. So we cleared everything. I can just go to advanced. I want my list range. So here I'm just going to take the items. Let's do it like this. I don't want any criteria. I want all the items. Let's do copy to another location. Unique records only. Copy to. I want them here. I will press OK. And there you go. You get only the unique items.